All right, so welcome everyone. This is day 28, EDR basics, detecting SSH brute force attack. We are still, we, we are on Wazoo series at this moment, and we are going to detect, uh, detect SSH brute force attack on Wazoo agent, especially Linux machine, okay? This is my Wazoo dashboard. Uh, you can click on overview and you will see this dashboard where you see all the alerts. You will see your active agents where the Wazoo agents are installed. Then there are multiple categories, endpoint security, where you have malware detection, file integrity monitoring, and threat intelligence, where you can see the alerts on the machine, right? Threat hunting is the one where you have to keep your eye at. Vulnerability detection, where you find all the vulnerabilities in the machine. MITRE ATT&CK framework, where it will help you to give you all the alerts mapped with the MITRE ATT&CK, okay? Then there is a compliance series, compliance sections all together. And there is a security monitoring for cloud resources, okay? So now um, there's a hamburger menu as well. Uh, over here, you have explore option, which is open search, which is basically kind of your indexer. And this is where all the logs and everything is stored. So when you click on, sorry, when you click on discover, you will see all the alerts. Usually Wazoo give you the uh, alert on threat hunting database when you have a corresponding rules created. Uh, these rules has certain priority, but uh, when you go to the visualize section, explore tab, this will carry all the logs irrespective of their severity, okay? So, and remember this follows a DQL, just like Splunk follow S S S Q uh, SPL, the Splunk processing language. It follow DQL, the dashboard query language, if I'm not wrong. And then you have different way to query it. If you look at any single event, you find this is basically your field input type, rule, and this, you can take it to your query as well on the top. So once you click on plus, this will be taken as your query option. So I can use the, let's say this, I can use maybe um, anything from the query, maybe um, let's say rule ID. So rule ID 550. So I can go on the top rule ID colon 550. And this will show me all the alerts with the rule ID 550. All right, you can see this. There are only two alerts at this moment. Now let's talk about our task. I have in I have three machine at this moment, as you can see. I have a first agent, which is first machine, which is my uh, agent machine where the Wazoo agent is installed. You can see the second tab, which is Wazoo server, and third tab is the attacker machine itself, from where I'll be launching the SSH brute force using hydra command okay so i'll be using the hydra command to launch this brute force attack okay so let's first get the ip address of my victim machine or target machine okay for where my wazoo agent is also installed so this is my public ip address i'll copy this i'll go to the attacker machine and let's hit let's enter the hydra command which is hydra minus l which is login name so I can say, let's say admin minus P, capital P. Uh, make sure you have a dictionary password created where the sample password are also stored. Then you have to enter the target IP address or victim IP address. Then you can give a space, type the protocol name. So I'll be using SSH, hit enter. It will take some time for processing the attack. And let's come to the Let's come to the threat hunting section. Or maybe you can also directly go to the agent itself because we are launching an attack on the machine itself. Remember, this is only for the learning purpose. So make sure you use it consciously, uh, properly, okay? Um, go to the event section and in here, uh, I, can up, I can search based on filter or um, you can also maybe because there are multiple alerts so i'll use this keyword uh, data dot src user and then i already have it because i use this in past so i can use this same query and 
refresh the page, you can see these are all the alerts. Let's see if we have the admin details. So you can see the admin is the username and this shows the failed password from invalid user admin. This is specific port number and all the other relevant information. You can see it has been mapped to the MITER attack ID and rule name as well, right? So this gives you a lot of information about the same user, their IP address, okay? Perfect. So that's how you can detect any brute force attempt. You can also have a rule section in here. You, there are multiple rules for different categories. So you, over here, you can create a custom rules for your benefit, maybe SSH brute force attempt. So I can create a custom rules. You can also see the file content and here you can specify the group for the rule. You can also mention the name of the rule as well in the description you can see. And then you can specify different criteria on which the rule should be triggered. I hope this was useful. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.